So this is the home page of SiteGround. Click on Manage WordPress Hosting to get started. There are three hosting plans here. Select the plan that suits your needs and budget. I'll go with this for now. Register a new domain name. You might not get it on your first try, so keep trying till you get a domain name that suits your needs and business type. And make sure to go with .com extension and nothing else. I get this domain name because it is available. This is the accounts page. Enter your email and password to keep it safe. We will need it later. And in the client information page, uh, enter your address. I have it entered already. And enter the payment details. And in the hosting services, select the data center or leave it as default. And click on domain privacy for safety and security. And then hit pay now. It takes some time to process a payment and create your account. So please hold. Once it's done, click on proceed to customer area. Tick the button, don't need help now. Hit confirm. Tick I confirm and then complete setup. This is a SiteGround account. Now click on My Accounts and then click on Go to cPanel. Click on Proceed. This is called cPanel or the Control Panel. We will install WordPress from here. Click on WordPress. Under Install, click Quick Install. Leave everything as default here. This will be a website username and password. Keep it safe somewhere. Click install. Click here to access your website. Alright, so our website is live now. You can go to your phone, you can type in the URL and you can check for yourself. So it took us like less than four minutes to build this, which is amazing, you know. And if you want to go to the dashboard, which is from where we do all the work, then click back on the cPanel X that you see on the left hand side corner and then click on the administrative URL here, right? So this is called WP Admin Dashboard. It's from here that we design our website. It's from here that we write and post blog post. It's here that all the magic happens. So this is the WP Dashboard Admin. And this is a quick tutorial from SiteGround, which we can ignore. So click on Exit. And voila, we are in the WP Dashboard and we can also see our website live.